Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and today we will be looking at Skarner and playing him in the jungle. At level 1, I do start with a regrowth pendant and one health pot. That's all you're going to really need. He's actually pretty good in the jungle without anything else. And he's pretty beefy with the rune page and the masteries that we have. We'll go over those in a second. But because of all of this goodness, we start with the Crystal Slash, which is his Q ability at level 1, because it's up all the time, because of your passive, which grants you... Um, one second reduction cooldown if you hit cha enemy champions, or half a second cooldown if you're hitting minions. We're going to skip ahead a little bit because not a lot happens. Our team's pretty pushed in most of our lanes. But I'm uh, going to move in here real quick, use my ultimate, pull Fizz out from underneath his tower. My team's going to pick up the kill pretty easy. And that is how you're going to want to gank with Skarner. Well, kind of at least. We'll see way more of this later on. But until then, um, I did go back to base after uh, that beginning jungling, and I bought a Philosopher's Stone, which is what my regrowth pendant built into, which is going to give me gold per five and good uh, health re or health regen and mana regen. Uh, and then I did pick up the first part of my boots, which I will be building into Mercury Treads to get that tenacity and that magic resist. It's going to be really good on Skarner. So... We have all that going for us. At level 2, I do take his Exoskeleton, which is his little shield that buffs him up with a speed buff and a attack speed buff. So, that's also good. We max out our Q first because that's what you want to do because of its slow and how often it is up. Every time you use it by enemy champions, it slows them. So, keep slowing them, they'll never get away. We might have an example of that right here. Maybe not, though. No, I think I'm just going to go out here and grab Yee and kill him. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Yep. Maybe a waste of an ult, but it killed him. That's fine. And these two are going to kill trade. So that will happen. As for my, ooh, what should we talk about? Runes. I go with 80 quintessences. I go with armor penetration marks. I go with flat armor seals, which is helpful at the beginning of the game when you're jungling. It's helpful later too, but it's helpful at the beginning. And then I also go with magic resist per level glyphs which is going to be helpful to stay tankier later in the game. Now, I know a lot of people build Skarner as a full tank, or really, really, really tanky. I go kind of tanky with him, but I don't go full tank. I also don't go full damage. It's kind of a in-between, and it works really well for me. I never take way, way too much damage with him, so uh, we will be doing that, and you'll see more of that. You can see I went back and finished off my boots, and I'm building towards a phase right now. And here I'm going to move in towards bottom lane and try to help the team out while they're uh, going to start chasing. I'm going to go ahead and focus the vein because she's a pain, and I'm going to alter and move her closer to the tower so she has further distance to run or hopefully get her into tower damage. And we're going to chase the Yi, and I'm going to flash forward and then use my slash one time since he was in I can't be slowed mode with his ultimate. So decided to do some of that to get some kills and assists, and uh, yeah, all the fun stuff that is Skarner. As for my Masteries page, I go with my weird 1749 page. It's a little bit different, but it gets me, instead of going 21 or 0219, I go with the 14 in the offensive tree just to do some extra damage. Here we're going to move into bottom lane and try to hit them again. They just took out the tower, but I'm going to grab the Yi, but I'm going to get pushed back at the same time by uh, the Vayne, so I uh, got him even further separated from the team. We're going to pick up the kill on him. Uh, as Zyra will, and I'm going to move in towards the vein, and I'm going to keep using my slash, which is going to keep perma slowing her, so she's not going to get away, and I'm going to pick up the kill on her. So, that is why you max out your slash first, because no one runs away from you. Well, they try to run, they just don't get away. So, that is what we are doing there, and uh, going to keep jungling, obviously, and taking stuff, and buffing up. Going back to base right now, got a handful of gold, going to finish off my phage, and get a sheen. Um, my first main item is going to be a Trinity Force. It's going to give me a little bit more attack damage, a little bit more health. It's going to proc the Sheen on uh, my abilities, which is going to be great. So my next basic attack will be buffed up. And all of that goodness. Here I'm going to actually get uh, killed. A bunch of them show up while I'm trying to steal their jungle, but that will happen. I should have probably put a ward out, but it's okay. I'm already over it. <laughs> um, as for everything else, in case you do not know, or in case I didn't state it, you know, the slash, it slows. The exoskeleton, um, which is your W, it gives you that increased move speed and increased attack speed. And then your fracture, which is your E, it is going to give you the ability to heal off of the target that you've marked with that ability. So um, it gives you a little bit of a heal, which is kind of nice. Uh, and uh, then you have your ultimate, which is your impale, which is where you grab the people for uh, 1.75 seconds. And you can drag them to wherever you want. Typically, you should grab them and drag them towards your team. I see some people click them and drag them nowhere. They just grab them 
and that's kind of bad. But I think I actually dragged this Yi, but kind of the wrong way for a second. So, but unfortunately, the rest of their team shows up, and our Zyra's gonna die. But gonna pick up the kill on the Yi with her passive, so that's good. I'm gonna run away a little bit. I'm actually gonna move back in real quick and try to help explode this vein, get a kill there, and then I'll back off a little bit. Because uh, if their Zyra dies, which she's going to, she could shoot me with her passive and kill me. So, gonna avoid that. But um, we made out okay there for only one of us dying and getting a few more of them. So, not too bad for the rest of our team. I'm gonna finish off the Trinity Force there and get that so I'm set up with a little bit extra move speed because of the zeal as part of it, which is gonna help me get to people faster when I'm trying to initiate a fight. Because I'm gonna buff up my exoskeleton and then I'm gonna dive in and then try to grab one of their squishier champions with my impale. So, um, one thing to kind of take note of if you are playing against a Skarner and you happen to be the tank, or if you're the AD carrier, if you're the main damage dealer, just pay attention to the way your your team is together. Never be in the front if he's the one he's trying to get to, if you're the one he's trying to get to. You're going to want to be behind your tank, and your tank should know that he needs to get in the way of Skarner because... Skarner's initiations are specifically to grab the weak links of the team, or like the easy kills, the damage dealers. Like here, I'm gonna get to the vein because she's the damage dealer. Unfortunately, the rest of their team was hiding in a bush and all comes out, so we were not ready for this and this does not go well, but typically you'd want to get to them first. But if their tank is getting in the way and they're, you know, stopping Skarner from diving in, he's either gonna be forced to grab their tank, which obviously is gonna be the poor decision for Skarner to use his ult on, or He's just not going to be able to initiate a fight. So, um, as for fighting against Skarner, just you got to really pay attention to that. Especially when you see him use his exoskeleton, he turns all blue. And uh, you just know it's going to be up at the time. So, got to pay attention to that. So, the last time back, I did buy um, some armor because I'm taking some physical damage from their team, especially from that vein. And uh, we're going to be building that into another item. I got to get a few more things towards that, though. So, I'm going to just keep running around. Finding champions when we can. Here we, fee we see Yi and uh, Malphite. I'm going to move in towards the Yi and try to grab him. Unfortunately, I finally grabbed him after I flashed to him. But I'm still going to pick up the kill on him. Luckily, the rest of our team showed up to kill oh, the Malphite. And uh, the Zyra's going to get away because I get snared. But that's okay. We picked up a couple kills there by uh, hiding out in their jungle. And I think we're actually going to get back up to the Zyra now and get her killed. She moves back in. Don't know why. That was a mistake. But... We're going to back off here, but unfortunately, Fizz is going to kill what's his face on the tower, so... Because I don't know why he dove. That was kind of a kind of a dumb idea. But that will happen! While you're in the enemy's jungle, don't forget to steal some of their jungle. It's annoying for them, and it's helpful for you. But that will happen. Alright, so, going to go back to base and continue building. Which, we will buy a giant's belt. And this giant's belt and that armor is going to go towards a sunfire cape. And uh, if you don't want a Sunfire Cape, I want it because of the armor, and then obviously that passive uh, magic damage every second is good as well. But if you do not want the Sunfire Cape, you could go with a War Mox. It will take longer to build, and you will not have the armor. So, But those two can go hand in hand, because we're just trying to build some more life right here. Here I'm getting a fight with Yi. Uh, Zyra's moving in from mid, but not fast enough. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start backing off since the rest of their team's kind of moving in here. Tark moves in and so does Twitch, but now their Malphite's moving in here. He's just gonna actually ult me. I'm gonna exoskeleton up and run away from him in a second. So I'm actually gonna get away. Twitch dies though. Our Zyra gets a kill and our Tark gets a kill, so at least we're kind of trading some kills. But um, this fight kind of goes a little bit awry, which is unfortunate. I think he's gonna die under the tower, if I had to guess. No, he's gonna get away. I'm just trying to stay in there to slow him best I can. And now she's going to get focused by the tower, and that is going to hurt, especially to that ignite. So, uh, it's kind of some even trades. But here I'm going to speed the game up. Nothing really happens in between there for a while. I did finish off my Sunfire Cape, and I did go back and get some more magic resist, which I will be building towards my next item. Here he's going to grab Fizz, but he's just going to jump away. I would have probably tried to grab him with my ultimate, but here we're going to do this in a second, try to grab this Bane. But before I even get to her, she's going to explode, so I'm still in my fastest motion. So I'm going to grab their Zyra and pull her out to the team so she cannot get away from us. She knows to just use everything she has. I'm gonna pick up the kill on her pretty quick. That is how you grab the weak links of the enemy team. And there she actually tries to try type the surrender vote, which it's actually a decently even game. I mean, we're pushing their lanes in harder and have more kills, I think, but um, 
we're just a little more organized, which obviously in League is kind of the main thing. You want to be organized. So we are just going to make sure we stay together and we initiate properly. I'm doing most of the initiations, obviously, with my ultimate. It just makes sense. You got to do it because you got to do it. I mean, it makes sense. You're Skarner. Speed yourself up with your exoskeleton. Move in with your impale, which is your alt. Grab them. Pull them out. And then the minute your alt ends, use your slash and start slowing them. I mean, as much as those don't do tons of damage, because your alt doesn't do that much, it, it doesn't matter. Your alt is for more of the, just the utility of it. So, here we're going to move in and start going for this tower, but we get into another little fight over here, so I'm going to start moving back in over here. going to skeleton up when I get into the fight and just get everywhere I can. I'm going to actually flash over to this vein real quick and hit her twice with the proct trinity force sheen. I'm just going to, you know, hit her once really and that's all I'm going to really need to do to kill her. Nothing too tough, obviously. So uh, all that all that goodness happening. Uh, we got a couple of us stuck in base, but uh, they're going to try to initiate, but um, Hoyt's going to initiate with his ult to kind of knock him up. I'm going to grab the fizz and pull him outside the base. Twitch will pick the kill up there, but die to the Zyra unfortunately so but that will happen but now I'm actually gonna push this tower don't know why I'm gonna go back push the tower and then I think I decide that hey I want to go back but then I'm like well maybe I should probably get the inhibitor too I guess I will so wasn't really too worried about pushing there honestly because we're gonna win this game I'm not doubting that at all I'm gonna finish off my magic resist item into my force of nature which is gonna help me with my uh health regen a lot because of its awesomeness and it's also going to give me more increased move speed to make me even better at initiating so with your exoskeleton and then the move speed from your force of nature and then the move speed from your trinity force you are just fast at getting around and grabbing people here they're going to check this bush because they want to go barren but we are all waiting in it because we saw them go that direction gonna grab her just so she does not go anywhere and i'm going to pick up the kill on the malphite while picking up some assists so um if you go back and watch that fight one more time, watch our team Zyra just murder two of them with two hits. It's kind of funny. Um, so we're going to start taking Baron. Um, also when I was back, I'm at that point where I have my four main items. My boots, my trinity, my sunfire, and my force of nature. Now, obviously, you're going to sell the uh, Philly Stone late game and get something else with that. But now it's to the point where are you having a hard time taking damage and you need to tank up even harder? You can get... A war mogs or you can get something else depending on what type of damage their team's doing to you if they're doing tons of attack damage then maybe get that thorn mail but uh, because I'm doing fine damage wise against their team I'm going to actually start building towards a hextech gunblade it's a little bit of a it's not a weird choice with him but you heal off of your standard attacks with the lifesteal and you'll get um, all of the ability power and all the uh, all the spell vamp off from your abilities so you can actually heal pretty well with it and do some decent damage with it so I'm actually gonna be building that just for some extra damage now I'm not gonna finish that item because we're coming up towards the end of the game but uh, that would be the next item I'm doing if I'm doing damage with um, Skarner but if you're not doing damage and you want more tanky items obviously um, Banshee's Veil a good choice, War Mog, Storm Mail just depending on what you're looking for or if you want to really get perma slow even though we already have some slow from the Trinity Force you could go with a frozen mallet so also frozen hearts another really good one too so really any of those tanky items if you're gonna go tanky if you're not then i would suggest going with the gunblade and then maybe an atmos so it kind of comes down to what you want or what you need so we're gonna be doing that gonna pick up a couple little kills there and finish off the game if you guys have any questions go ahead and put those in the comments below other than that if you liked the video i'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed but i will see all of you in the next build video